or this whole kitchen is going to be like it just threw up the nutcracker and I'm here for it. Hi loves and welcome back to my channel Pumpkin and Gray or welcome if you are new here. If you're new I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and join the family here and if you like the video please hit the like button at the end of the video. As you saw from today's thumbnail I am doing a Christmas anthropology haul and I'm so excited. I hope you guys like the background. I know I still have Halloween now. It is not Halloween yet. It's only the like 26th or something like that when I'm filming this. So for now we're getting a mix, but my kitchen is my favorite part of my house. So I thought I should film in here sometimes because it's like light and bright. So that's what I'm doing. Let me know your thoughts. I have snagged some really, really cute things from Anthropology, and I do use like to know it over my Instagram. And some of these items have been bought by so many people that it actually blew my mind because I just started using like to know it. And I was like, like dozens and dozens and dozens of people bought one of these things. And I'm like, okay. Um, and I don't blame them. I bought it too, obviously. I love it. So I'm going to share what I got from there. And I will have another Anthropology haul coming up and I have a Target haul and a world world market which is my first time ever ordering from there and oh my god so i'm going to share what i have for now and i have one you know what i just thought about as i'm looking around okay i can't tell but i got a nutcracker pillow that i am obsessed with i have my favorite pillows ever look how good that lighting is from home goods and i'm patiently trying to patiently wait for home goods to put out their Christmas pillows and so far mine doesn't have any well they have some they have like some green and red traditional ones but I don't use those colors so anyways I'll share it when the pillow comes in I'll throw it in a different haul because it is the most beautiful pillow ever oh it's so well done okay anyways enough rambling I'm gonna start grabbing stuff around me let's jump into the anthropology haul okay the first thing I got was this cute little ornament I have seen these online year after year and I've never bought one so this year I decided to go ahead and get it look how cute it's a little snow globe so the snow moves around and then on the back side we have the little bottle brush trees and a little mushroom and then on the bottom it does say 2022 which I love because I'm going to start getting one every year now the little pom-pom I gotta get my nails done guys sorry and I don't know, I just thought it was like so beautiful and it has the gold in there, which I always love. The glitter is a little loose for my liking, but I thought it's gonna be hanging on the tree soon. I won't actually be touching it, so it's okay. Next up is a notepad. So right now in my fridge, I have one that says like boo with cat, ghost, and says spooky on it. I like to have one of these on my fridge at all times because we always are writing down like grocery list or notes to teachers, things like that. So this one, I was like, yes, because of my theme this year, I had to have the Nutcracker one. Let me actually pull this out. It's not a glare. I love this so much. This is not the top bought item, but a lot of these sold on the like to know it as well. It is so beautiful. Look at that. There's still like a plastic wrap around it, so hopefully it's clearer, but I love it so much and it does say on the back proudly printed in the USA using environmentally responsible paper stock and printing methods so that's awesome the little thing here is covering up the two ballerinas but there's two ballerinas on either side as well and I love it it could not go better this whole kitchen is going to be like it just threw up the nutcracker and I'm here for it okay next I grabbed one of these they call it like a spatula I always call these a spoon I don't know, whatever. It's like the spoonula, right? Whatever they call it. I grabbed this one, even though it was red, which I don't do a lot of. It's so vintage looking. Look how cool that is. It's like the ultimate Santa coffee treat. It's like peppermint mochas in there. I thought it was really cute. So every holiday season, like right now, I have Gall sitting out with all the Halloween themed ones in it from Home Goods. And so I'll obviously switch that out and I'll put a Christmas one out. I have a Santa that'll sit there and like all these will exist in him. And I also got my home goods haul, you'll see a really cute set of like the wooden ones, you know, the spoon, the s whatever, it's like four different ones, a little spatula. And they all have this like baby blue on the end, which goes great with my other stuff I got. So it'll look cute with this, but I just loved his little vintage print. Isn't he cutie? He looks just like the Santa that I have to sit out to. So they'll go good together. Okay, next is this absolutely beautiful I've got some oh, it's got I can't, I can't reach it styrofoam um this beautiful wine glass this is gonna be let me back there we go 
I had to have this. Look at that little Christmas tree. And then if you can see it, there is a star. See the little, there we go, <laughs> the little gold star. So the gold star is obviously painted on the outside of the glass here. And then the Christmas tree is inside the glass. And I have one of these for so many years. I never bought one for some reason. And I love wine. Like when I drink, I usually am drinking wine. So I was like, yeah. I need this. I need to be sitting there watching a Christmas vacation, drinking wine out of this. <sighs> I'm so excited for Christmas movies. I can't even tell you. I am a Christmas movie, Christmas music fanatic. Like Christmas music will be playing in my house and I will go to leave the house and it's immediately put back on in the car. That's how much I love it. And Christmas movies, you gotta let me know your favorite Christmas movie down in the comments. Let's make that the question for this video because I love talking Christmas movies and need to know if there's any that I've missed. We do Christmas movie nights every Friday with the boys for November and December, and I cannot wait. Like, the feel that I get immediately when a Christmas movie starts playing, like the Santa Claus, a Christmas Vacation, a Christmas with the Granks, just all of them, I'm so here for it. And now I can enjoy them with wine in my little Christmas tree glass. <laughs> okay, so the next item should not come as a surprise to anybody. You all know I'm weirdly obsessed with holiday books. I have so many Halloween and Christmas books. And I do have a few versions of Twas the Night Before Christmas, but when I saw this one on Anthro's site, I had to have it because I just thought the illustrations were so beautiful. Here's the back, look at the stockings. I don't know, I just was so drawn to it and the colors that I was like, I'm gonna add this to their collection. And it, the inside says, this book is for the darling child or children who most positively are on the nice list. And then look at this, take that flap off so you can see. Isn't that beautiful? And I loved how if you remove the cover, it is still the same cover on the outside. I hate when you go to take off like the plastic and it's different, so. Anyways, it's absolutely stunning inside. It's very anthropology. These look just like the homes that they sell on their website every year, which don't buy those. You can get them at Target, <laughs> great dupes at Target. Look how pretty. I just loved it. So this will be the one that we read this Christmas Eve. We do read Twas the Night Before Christmas. Oh my God, I didn't even look in the back yet. Oh, I didn't see this. Look how cute it says, our holiday log, child year, best gift, favorite memory. I didn't see this in the back. Oh my God, now I'm extra glad I bought this. Look how cute. What a cool thing to do. So read it the night before Christmas and then the night of Christmas, have your kids fill that out and you'll have like a little keepsake. That's amazing. I figured I didn't notice that when I was looking through it, so even better, more of a reason. I'll try to have all these linked down in the description box. I meant to tell you that. Just as a heads up, they will be affiliate links. If you click it and you shop through the link, I make a very, 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 like, sets on some items. Very small amount, but I still appreciate it because it's part of my career, and I just, I appreciate it a lot when you shop my links. So I will have all these things linked in the description box. Sorry if I'm like squeaking. I'm on my bench that goes with my table, but I'm sitting in the middle of it and in the middle is like a bar. Anyways, okay, here is the item that sold like freaking wildfire on my like to know it. This is the advent calendar that I got this year. It is from Rifle Paper Co. Tell me that's not so stunning. Oh my God, I can't wait to actually take it out and like set it up. So it's one of those ones that's going to be 3D. You're going to kind of like sit it within itself this way and it's going to pop out and then it has the little countdown of course all these little flaps for the kids to open counting down to christmas but i just thought it was absolutely stunning and again i'm doing a nutcracker theme so it was absolutely perfect the gold star on top you know me had to do that i just loved it and apparently like 50 some people from instagram did too so it's it's beautiful. I'm really excited to get it out and have it sitting now. I don't know where I'm going to put it yet. I also am going to do a ton of Christmas decorate with me videos like I did last year and like I did this year for Halloween in the new house. So you'll see a video for the kitchen, a video for Salem's room, a video for the boys room and the living room. So you'll see all this sprinkled throughout the house at some point. Okay, so these next few items were new to me. And now I will forever be hooked on these. I am going to actually order two more for teacher gifts because I thought they'd be perfect for that. I was just browsing the site and I stumbled across this line called George and Viv that anthropology, oh my God, smell. Oh my God, this is the strongest pine scent of anything I've ever owned. Like it is just, it's so strong. 
Anyways, this line is so beautiful on their site. They have the houses, the carnival, like Ferris wheel, Christmas ones, and they have soaps. And you click on the soap and there's like 20 different varieties you can choose from. And they come packaged. Oh, okay, look at this one. This one is the sparkling spruce. This is a soap, you guys. Like I can't use them. I'm gonna have to at the end of Christmas, I'll have to open it and use it because it smells like you're standing in front of the world's largest Christmas tree, just breathing it in. It is so deliciously strong and good. But look how beautiful that is. All of the soaps have like a 3D aspect to the packaging. So like this is a real ribbon. That's a gold star that was put on top of the paper. Isn't that beautiful? It says ornaments and twinkling lights. What a lovely sight. I mean, they're stunning. I can't get over them. So I got two of this one because I right now I have a Halloween soap from Home Goods sitting on my bathroom counter that's like decorative. I don't open it. And I'll do the same thing and like use it towards the end of the season soon. But I'm blown away by these. Like they're stunning. I actually want to get a certain one for a friend of mine who has a certain type of dog that was on one of these and then one for each teacher and I got one for my mom. But I mean, they're just beautiful. I got two of the trees and I'm like this is what I'm talking about. Look at this packaging, okay? This is so... This one is in the coconut snowball scent and it smells so fresh and yummy. It says dock away, dock away, dock away all instead of dash away because it's got dachshunds on it. Look at this. And it comes on a sleigh. Like this is the soap. And you can obviously unwrap it and still sit it on here, but that's how it's packaged. There's a real little bell, like a real bell. It's wrapped. And then it, this one comes on a sleigh. I don't know why I'm so mind blown about this, but I've never seen soap like this in my entire life. Like, look at the ends. They, they've thought of everything. It's absolutely stunning. I love these. So now I feel like everybody needs a beautiful soap for Christmas. So I'm definitely gonna get the teachers some. They're not cheap. Just throwing that out there. I wanna say they were $12 a piece and they have a 12 month lifespan on them, it says. So, I mean, for soap, for a bar of soap, that's obviously ridiculous. I understand that. but you do get more than just the bar of soap. It's like a whole presentation and they smell so strong. So if I was gonna do like a Dunkin' gift card for a teacher, that was my thought, get one of the soaps, put the gift card on the back and now you have like a really easy gift that will smell so good but has character. And again, there was like 20 or something around that choices and they all had different ways that they were presented and they're beautiful. Oh, I'm so happy I have those. Okay, and the last thing from anthropology, I, nope, actually there's one more little thing behind me. I'm not going to take this out, which is probably going to be annoying, but if you have welcome mats and you like collect these kind of like I do, you know they're messy. I need to take it outside and shake it, but you can see through it. This is my welcome mat. I'm not going to talk while it's in front of me. You won't be able to hear me good. This is my welcome mat that I got from Anthropology this year. Look how cute. And it says letters to Santa. It is obviously huge and it is a mailbox that is open with letters that like the little kid wrote to Santa. And I love this so much. I wanna say this was like 40 or something. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my God, I love it so much. The last thing is sitting behind me because I didn't wanna break it. I have also wanted the stinking Santa class for years it feels like now, at least the last two years, and never did it. I wanna get a set. I really should have bought four, but I'm trying to not go crazy. But look how beautiful the Santa glass is. It's gonna be a little hard to see. There's his face. There we go. His cute little cheeks, his eyes. Max is standing on the welcome mat now, sorry. But the reason I also love it is it has this beautiful gold like rim around it. And I just thought he was so cute for Christmas time. I will probably end up getting more of him eventually here because this set would be really nice to have. They're great for juice. You could do iced coffee with a straw and some um, whipped cream on it and make it like really adorable. They're very heavy and very, very nice. So I'm super impressed with the quality. I just need to get more. Okay, loves, that wraps up my anthropology haul. Sorry, I kind of rushed through a little bit there, but I'm filming multiple hauls today, if I'm being honest with you. And I just, I have so much to share. My closet is looking wild right now because I just keep like shoving the stuff in, especially the home goods one. I'm probably gonna break that into two videos. It's just too much. But anyways, let me know what your favorite item was down in the description box. Again, I will have, no, you let me know what your favorite item was down in the comment section. I will leave the links down in the description box in case you want to shop any of these items yourself. And I will share that pillow when it comes in because I have no doubt it's going to be my favorite item out of all of this. So thank you so much for watching. I'm sending love to all of you. Please hit that subscribe button and the like button on your way out if you have not yet. And I will see you guys very soon in my next video.